hey, we got a limit here that we can't just plug in zero. That's not gonna work. Turns out we need to factor. Now the top, it's not that obvious how to factor it, but it's in the form of a cubed plus b cubed, where your a can be h minus one and your b could be one. So if we remember what the formula is, it is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So if I plug into that, it would be h minus one plus one times some other stuff, h squared minus, oops, sorry, not h squared, h minus one squared minus h minus one times one, which is just h minus one, plus one squared. And now all that would be over h, but h minus one plus one, that's actually just the same thing as h because these ones cancel. And that means I can now cancel this h, which gets rid of the problem of not being able to plug in zero. So I can now plug in that zero everywhere that I see h. And if I do so, it would be zero minus one squared, which is just minus one squared. And then minus, well, another minus one, because I'm plugging in zero there too. And then a plus one squared, which is plus one. So that gets me one minus negative one, which is plus one, plus one. And I'm pretty sure that comes out to three, although you could double check that last part on a calculator.